Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. We're back with another Worship Music Wednesday. We just celebrated the fourth Sunday of Easter. And I know I mentioned last week that it doesn't always feel like Easter. And as this pandemic continues, it, it just hits me how there's never really a right time or a good time for what we're going through. It's hard, it's difficult, it's frustrating, and it's different for everybody. But I think this liturgical season is a blessing from the church and a blessing from the Lord. And what I mean in that is that Easter is a time of hope. It's a time of resurrection, of renewal and rebirth. And that's what we need right now to get us through this. I think the timing of the Easter season is exactly what should be speaking to our hearts right now. So not only can we hope that we'll be able to leave our homes, we'll be able to rise up, but that we can rise up again on the last day with Christ. So with that in mind, I'm looking at another Easter song, Hallelujah is our song. This is written by Sarah Hart, Sarah Kroger, Josh Blakesley, and Trey Heffinger. And I actually was not familiar with this song. I'd heard of it, but I'd never stopped and listened or learned it. But my godmother sent it to me and I was listening to it and I thought, what a perfect song. It's incredible how much the Easter season and its music and its texts can really speak to us right now. So let me read you some of the text. What hope we have, even in the longest night, for the light will overcome. We will not fear, for we know the sun will rise. Hallelujah is our song. What peace we have, even in this wounded world where the battle rages on. We will not fear, for we know who heals our souls. Hallelujah is our song. I just, it, I don't know why it amazes me, but it does just how perfectly this fits into our lives. And so I hope it speaks to you in the same way. I'm going to go through this song like usual. So I'll start with first one and then I'll invite you all to join in. What hope we have, even in the longest night, for the light will overcome. We will not fear, for we know the sun will rise. Hallelujah is our song. Let's try verse one together. What hope we have, even in the longest night, for the light will overcome. We will not fear, for we know the sun will rise. Hallelujah is our song. And then it goes into verse 2. So verse 2 is the same melody, but different words. What peace we have, even in this wounded world, where the battle rages on. We will not fear, for we know who heals our souls. Hallelujah is our song. And then the refrain comes in. Here's what the refrain sounds like. together. song brought some hallelujahs into your home and that you continue singing it and lots of hallelujahs throughout the Easter season. I'm not going to switch gears and look at a song I'm pretty sure you all know. This is How Can I Keep From Singing? It's a traditional Quaker hymn 
and I'm going to start just playing the version that's in my accompaniment book. song just makes me smile. It's my favorite hymn and actually what I really enjoy doing with it is making it my own. So when I'm working with cantors or the choir I don't encourage people to change hymns and that's because our goal is to lead everybody and if we're all worshiping together and we're all singing together you don't want somebody singing different words or different notes. It can get confusing but right now we're at home. If you're enjoying this song at home you're just singing it like me because you love it or I would do this if I were playing it as an instrumental meditation during mass, you can make it your own. You can have some fun with it. So here's a different version of how can I keep from singing? take on a slightly different how can I keep from singing, changing some rhythms, changing some notes, but overall keeping the character of the song. So I encourage you in your own homes to either play with this song or play with a different song. Maybe it's How Great Thou Art. Sing something you love and make it your own. And then let us know in the comments below what you tried out. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next week.